Hi guys! So, I'm Diane and um, I just want to share my actual experiences during my travels. So, ever since um, I, I started to work, um, I uh, started to travel as a form of reward for myself. And um, let's start with Siguro my latest uh, travel after the pandemic. Well, still, it's still pandemic, pero at least during the time na the borders are starting to open up. Uh, and ano, um, I also wanna share lang um, some tips, di ba? Um, iba rin kasi kapag actual na experience mo and nakapunta ka dun sa bansa. Uh, based on um, para alam mo nyo kung ano yung talagang dapat na gawin versus yung um, pinabasa, nire-research, diba? Before um, diving into a new place or a new area to try and all. So, for this video, um, we want to talk about Istanbul specifically. So, Istanbul is the capital of Turkey. And, um, it's my first time to visit Istanbul, um, last April, I was in Turkey, the whole country of Turkey, umikot ako sa iba't ibang area, um, from April to May of this year, 2022, um, and, siguro first, bakit ko consider yung Turkey, and dami namang other areas na open na, ba? Um, like, uh, a nearby um, Asian country like Singapore or Korea, etc. Bakit Turkey yung consider ko? So, back in April, May, um, my number one consideration that time is um, I want to go to a place. Definitely, it's a no-brainer na gusto ko na talagang umalis because um, yearly talagang nag-travel ako pre-pandemic because it's my form of relaxation, and parang, um, I think parang ano rin siya eh, form of, um, refresh, reset for me. So, it's very, very important for me. Hindi siya yung parang, um, pag ng pera. For me, it's very therapeutic because when I travel, I travel alone. So, why do I travel alone? Because, of course, may mga travels naman ako na may mga kasama akong iba, like my family, my friends, etc. But most of the time, most of my travels are, um, I do it alone. Well, at first, nung mga una kong travels na mag-isa ko, natakot ako. Kasi, well, syempre, mag-isa ako. And, ang second consideration ko, medyo mababaw. Sinong kukuha ng pictures ko? And I'm the type of person na parang, more than material things, I would like to have um, beautiful memories of where uh, I visited. Diba? Kasi parang mas, for me, mas, ano siya, mas um, important na magkaroon siya ng mga beautiful memories na ma-capture. Um, and ang dream ko pa dati is I would like to have my own room, tapos yung wallpaper nun is a collection of all my photos. Ganon katindi. Yung pagkagusto ko na magkaroon ng, ano, ng beautiful photos and videos and memories of me for my travels. Kasi, of course, travel is um, an investment, ba? So, it's really therapeutic on my end. So, going back, um, why did I consider Turkey out of all the countries in the world, ba? During um, April, May. So, when yung mga countries are starting to open up. Um, I opted Turkey because uh, my main consideration was, of course, yung safety. Um, we all know naman na while nag-open up na yung countries, um, COVID is still there. Um, unfortunately, even now that I'm feeling, filming this, um, now is November 2022 already, um, I know for a fact na I have a colleague na unfortunately, um, positive siya, and, um, yung COVID, um, variant niya is, um, very different. I mean, siya yung first na kakilala ko, actual na kakilala ko, na ang story niya is, um, 
pag umuubo siya, may kasamang blood. And um, hospital already confirmed na it's not TB, but it's really COVID-related because dry cough, tapos na, na, um, sa sobrang ang dami niya sigurong uh, phlegm or um, flu na ano, um, na nagkaroon na ng sugat dun sa throat and all. So, it's, re- it's really difficult. How much more? Just imagine, diba? So, November yun, November siya, diba? At present time. How much more nung April, May, nung nagsistart pa lang yung ano, mag-open up yung mga borders? So, that was my first priority talaga. So, I really, conscious effort for me to um, choose a location that is medyo, mm, medyo malayo, <laughs> malayo um, in my current area. Um, kasi parang I feel na if nearby Philippines or nearby Asia, magkaka, magkakalapit lang sila. So, parang here in the Philippines, during that time, medyo malaki. Mataas pa rin eh. Mataas pa rin naman yung, yung cases. So, parang magkakahawaan at magkakahawaan din lang. I feel na yung mga, yung mga pupunta sa, yung mga aalis, yun yung mga immediate getaways. So, I wanted to be as far as I could para yung mental health din, di ba? We want to travel because we want to enjoy, we want to be relaxed. So, that's my first priority back then. So, definitely, um, something na nearby Philippines is not my consideration that time. So, that's number one. That was number two. Um, whenever I travel, personally, I prefer a place na palamig. <laughs> Hindi ako summer person. And April, May is summer in the Philippines, diba? And um, I really appreciate spring, diba? Of course, of course, yung mga cherry blossom and all the tulips and all the beautiful flowers. Tapos, um, cool yung temperature, something na wala here sa Philippines. So, yun, that's another part of the consideration. Tapos, another thing is, um, I want the country or I want the place to be as flexible as possible. Meaning, um, kung mag-travel ka na rin lang, you wanted to go to as many places as you could, diba? Kasi syempre, yung flight mo and um, all your expenses, gusto mo ma-maximize ma- 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 mo rin, diba? And for those of you who are not familiar, very strategic yung location ng Turkey because... Um, I feel na it's like Dubai, para siyang um, hub, middle ground. So, Turkey is a combination of Asia and Europe in general. That's why parang if you will look into it, Turkey is parang um, alanganing nasa Asian continent and nasa Europe also. Um, may side ng Turkey na hagat ng Asia, tapos the other side of Turkey is Europe. In fact, um, if you go to Turkey, two hours away na lang siya sa Greece uh, via train. So, very strategic siya, ba? So, if you wanna really jump into the Europe continent, um, that's very easy for you and very convenient. So, just imagine, isang ticket lang yan and atami mo nang mapupuntahan. So, that's the second. Tapos, third is also convenience. So, syempre, ang dami ng, ang dami ng additional na requirements when you travel now uh during um the covid post covid uh season or phenomenon so um kung saan ka sana makakatulong na mabawasan yung yung requirements as much as you could then better diba although personally ako i don't mind naman if and daming requirements because if it's for your safety then good for you pero kung makakatipid ka rin lang naman at kung mayroong isang angle doon na lesser hassle for you then why not diba why not avail diba so um well um when i researched um while turkey is not um, primarily talaga an Asian country or it's a combined Asian and Europe country um, getting a visa is not that hard you just do it online tapos you will be um, confirmed um, maximum 2 days and yung payment niya is um, very minimal as opposed to if you want to get a Shenzhen visa which is for Europe talaga or any other visa. Like, I just paid, I think, 1,500 to 2,000 pesos. Um, that is for a single entry. Single entry is equivalent to a 90-day travel already. So, okay na. Pwede na yun, diba? Tapos, you, 
but by during that time i don't need to do an rt pcr but i need to be fully vaccinated so for me that's already manageable tapos ang kailangan ko na lang na talagang asikasuhin would be my flight so i need to book my flight and um whether i want to stay my itinerary etc etc so there and of course my last consideration is okay oh sige so pasok um, malayo siya sa Philippines or sa Asia, um, malamig, there's spring, um, medyo flexible in terms of area, so I can visit um, several places. Um, may, may opportunity for me to visit not only Turkey, but also other places, um, which I aspire to also visit um, in just one go. Tapos, um, another thing is um, medyo um, hindi rin ganon kahassle with all the requirements. And lastly, parang mag-enjoy ba ako? Diba? Eh, I mean, that's the ultimate goal naman when you travel. And um, for me, one of my consideration of enjoyment is food. Aside from the good scenery and experience that I'm that, that I'll get there. Since um I mentioned a while ago, Turkey is like a hub, a central hub, fusion, yung i expect mo. While of course my local delicacy sila na food. Um, if hindi ka masyadong risky na person. Ako kasi sometimes risky, sometimes not. <laughs> so, alam mo yun, um, syempre mahirap yung sobrang risky din. Um, ako, personally, lalo na nang, nung time na yun, na parang, hello, COVID and all, hindi mo, hindi mo, hindi mo alam, foreign, foreign area, tas mag-isa ka lang and all. So, since it's a fusion, you know na medyo may safe ground, na food, na sure kang may enjoy mo, uh, so, since may international food yon so central hub siya. Tapos, um, ako personally, I want yung mga um, Turkish delights. Yan, gusto ko yan, mga kebab, diba? Uh, yan, mga gusto kong kainin. Sometimes, kinikrave ko talaga. So, sabi ko, pasok, okay yan, okay yan sa, sa food and all. Tapos, hindi pa ganun kamahal, diba? So, okay. So, sabi ko, okay, sige, um, I'll dive in. Mag-enjoy ako and all. So, cut to, okay, I really book. And my first stop is, um, of course, Istanbul, which is the center of our video right now, which is the capital of Turkey. So, to answer, straight to the point, to answer the question in this video, um, I asked, diba, is it safe to um, travel to Istanbul? Based on my actual experience, if you are traveling alone, and if you are a female, I would not recommend um, for you to visit Istanbul. So, disclaimer lang, again, um, I'm just saying Istanbul, which is a certain part of Turkey, and I don't want to um, generalize the whole Turkey in itself. Because as I mentioned, um, I was able to visit other parts of Turkey, and iba rin yung experiences ko uh, dun sa other parts ng Turkey, which I will share on a different video. Um, pero specifically for Istanbul, as a female solo traveler, I do not recommend um, uh, Istanbul as a female-friendly solo um, traveler place. Uh, why? Uh, because, um, pagbaba mo pa lang ng airplane, okay naman. Malaki yung, malaki yung airport nila, safe naman, and they have new airport which dun ako nag-land um, I, I, I flew there via Emirates Airline so um, pagdating dun may mga people naman that will assist you ganyan um, I mean you can always book on your own um, kung um, if you travel in budget of course pwede kang mag bus from airport going to downtown or going to the city pero during my time yung flight ko um, nag-land ako sa, sa airport around 10pm. Although, hindi pa siya ganun ka, ganun ka late. Pero since, nagsistart pa lang mag-open up yung mga borders that time. Um, hindi na available yung bus going to the train station para makapunta ako sa, sa downtown. So, what I did was to book um, a shuttle, parang taxi, um, from the airport to my um to my apartment um kung saan ako nagbook uh 
kung saan ako dapat magsistay sa, sa Istanbul. So, okay naman. Um, affordable. Affordable naman yung, yung shuttle or yung taxi, yung van. Actually, um, sabi nila it's a van or a taxi. Pero in actuality, it's a limousine. As in, mag-isa lang ako. Pero ang haba, literally limousine siya. With like free water and everything. And you have a driver there, etc. etc. So, yung airport, uh, personal there um, was kind enough naman to um, assist you kasi syempre girl ako tapos uh, mag-isa lang ako tapos I have my bags and all so parang in-assist ka niya papunta sa labas tapos siya pa yung i-help ka niya i-carry to your, your luggage and all but um, yung first person pa lang na nag-assist sa akin although mabait of course he's a guy although mabait parang ang nanotice ko is ang notion nila sa Philippines is um, mas mura mas mura yung mas mura sa Philippines bumili ng gadget as opposed to to Turkey which is syempre hindi ko naman yun ni research that time diba bago ako pumunta doon kung mas mura ba all. kasi um, my main objective sa pagpunta sa Turkey was really to enjoy and not to splurge on gadgets etc etc and ang notion ko pa nga is since medyo central hub siya and fusion parang dapat mas mura dapat si yung mga gadget diba pet and part parang nagulat ako na ah oh, talaga mas mas mura pa sa sa Philippines yung ano so and it's a known notion sa mga Turkish so when they when they found out na Filipino ako and taga Philippines ako um immediately inasa nila how much ang iPhone sa sa Philippines and this was April May syempre ang new release ng iPhone usually um Q4 de ba September October so parang I said na parang uh, siguro if 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 iPhone 13 ganto ganyan this is the amount tapos ang um, sabi nila um alam mo, here in Turkey, hindi, sobrang mahal, sobrang impossible for you to have an iPhone, which they like, very aspirational, ganyan. So, um, parang, since medyo mabait siya, he asked for my number, tapos parang sabi niya, if you want to go around, and if, if, um, lost ka, you can always message me for directions, etc, etc. So, I did, I did, I, I did share, um, my, my, my number that I can share to, ano, to, to that person. Tapos, um, ang nangyari, hindi naman ako nagko-communicate initially sa kanya. Pero, upon arriving dun sa airport, dun sa, sorry, dun sa apartment ko sa, ano, sa Istanbul. Um, so, nakarating na ako, so, I landed sa airport then, ba Nakarating na ako sa, ano ko, sa apartment ko sa Istanbul around mga 11 or 12. Tapos, um, nakakuha ko ng WhatsApp message coming from this person na na-meet na ko nga sa airport na local. And then, parang, um, nakikipag-usap, nagsispoil talk and all. Well, okay naman. Um, medyo sketchy lang. Na parang, oh, okay. Bakit, bakit, ano, bakit sobrang ang medyo aggressive? Pero, hindi pa yon Hindi pa yon yung main consideration ko. Why I am saying hindi ganun ka safe are recommended for a female solo traveler. So the next day, um as a traveler, I really want to maximize, I really want to maximize my 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 stay sa sa country na binibisit ko. So I really make it a point na maaga akong gigising, tapos maaga talaga akong aalis sa ano sa place where I stay. Tapos late akong uuwi ganyan. So talagang um Umalis ako sa apartment ng around 6.30 because I book an Airbnb experience uh, which magbimit kami ng isang Turkish local. He is a photographer. So parang if you go to Airbnb, you can book an experience there. Hindi lang home. Uh, wherein... Um, Pwedeng um, that local can help you go around. Tapos while going around, um, that local can help you take beautiful photos. Like, ano siya, pro photographer talaga. Um, so, sabi ko, wow, sobrang you're hitting two stones, ba? Parang two birds at one stone, ba? So, parang why not, ba? So, I book that person ng 7.30 a.m. So, um, I, I book my apartment sa... Um, Taksim na location. Taksim um, is a popular um, spot in Turkey. Hindi siya yung hindi siya yung pinaka central downtown. Um, when you say kasi central downtown, nandun yun almost all of the 
tourist spots. And sa Turkey, ang tourist spots there are yung mga mosque, uh, yung um, bazaar, diba? I'm sure kapag ginugugol mo yung Turkey, pinakasikat there yung mga carpets, yan, yan yung grand bazaar, and all yung mga spices and all. And hindi yun yung Taksim area. Taksim area is a nearby area dun sa um, central downtown. So, I, um, I book sa Taksim area because um, this is a tip. If you want to, um, if you want to pay a little cheaper dun sa pagsistayan ninyo, lalo na if you're the kind of traveler like me na parang matutulog ka rin lang naman dun and hindi mo naman sobrang gusto na sobrang high-end, ba? Because you just need a place for your bag, for your things, and for uh, to sleep, and a decent restroom, etc., etc., you don't need to stay dun sa downtown kasi uh, pupunta ka lang naman sa downtown just to really see the tourist spots. Pero one time lang yun. Pero if you wanna if you wanna stay there like for two days, three days, gusto mo yung spot na maraming kainan and Taksim is that place. Plus, Taksim is a nearby um, station dun sa mga central spots. I think it's like one or two stations away lang. So, very strategic by nature. So, that's the reason why I book there. So, okay, the next day, um, umalis ako sa apartment ng 6.30 para to meet my Airbnb um, experience host by 7.30 a.m. Literally, I kid you not, less than five minutes ng paglabas ko sa apartment, there is this random Turkish guy. Siguro around late um, 30s, 40s, ganyan. Um... Turkish Turkish guy na who approached me. As in, suddenly approached me. Tapos, um, hindi siya sobrang knowledgeable to speak in English. But, um, he approached me and said na parang, breakfast, breakfast, ganyan. And then, of course, I said, no, 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 no. So, I thought, aalis na siya. Pero, he's very, very makulit. Consistent talaga siya. As in, habang naglalakad ka away, sinusundan niya talaga ako. Like, ano ba? Bakit ni I mean, if if hindi, hindi ka maka-understand ng English, I I think a basic yes or no will be very simple. And um I also parang gumagawa na ka ng mga hand signals na no, 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 ba? And all. So, umabot sa point na um I really stop dun sa so it's a public highway ha. I mean, it's a public street kung saan ako kung saan niya ako um kung saan niya ako um kinukulit. Um, ang nangyari, I stopped na there kasi alam ko na may mga other passersby na parang I was hoping na may magsisave sa akin pero wala and all. So, I stopped na there and then I, I parang gusto ko nang gusto ko nang umiyak kasi it was like a good 10 minutes already na sinusundan mo ko, kinukulit mo ko na sumama sa'yo at mag-breakfast tayo. Eh, ayoko nga. Tapos lalaki ka, tapos babae ako, mag-isa ako. Ayaw mo pa akong tigilan. I mean, if you are a gentleman, ba you will stop. Lalo na you know na um, I'm not a local. ba So, alam mo na na ang lotion na ano, what? Anong, what are you after for, ba? So, when I stopped, um, uh, medyo kinulit niya ako ng how many seconds, like 10 seconds. Tapos after noon, meron siyang kotse. Pumunta siya dun sa kotse niya. Tapos akala ko okay na. So, naglakad na ulit ako, papunta dun sa train station. And then, habang naglalakad ako, nagulat ako, pinubusinahan niya ako kasi sinasabayan niya ako ng kotse niya. So, habang naglalakad ako, siya, nakikisabay pa rin. Hindi nga lang naglalakad na this time, pero via his car. Tapos, as in, pinubusinahan niya ako. Tapos, breakfast, breakfast. Tapos, inaano niya ako, ginaganyan niya ako. Tapos, gusto niyang i-open na niya yung passenger seat para, para manoko na parang, oh, so, ano, dahil may kotse, sama ako. Parang ganun. Ayoko talaga. Ayoko talaga. So, what I did was tumakbo ako. Tapos, siya, wala. Siguro, nainis na rin and all. Wala. Binilisan na lang niya. Tapos, umalis na siya and all. Fortunately. Yan. And then, um, so, that's one. 
that's parang, oh my god, less than 5 minutes pa lang na talagang nag-explore ako din sa, wala pa nga ako sa central downtown, diba? Ganyan na yung experience. Ano to? So, kinakabahan na ako. Pagdating ko din sa train station, um, I was in Taksim Square. It's a big public square, literally. Um, para siyang, para siyang Ayala Station, MRT Station, except that, excuse me, except that, um, may mga upuan, tapos, um, ay, um, para siyang plaza, ganun, tapos, down, tapos, um, parang underground, yung, yung train station. So, when I went down, kasi pupunta na ako sa train station, um, hindi ko ma-figure out yung, yung pag, pagbili ng, pagbili ng card, or pagbili ng ticket. Um, hindi ko alam kung dahil hindi na ulit ako sa ay mag-travel, pero usually, I can figure it out. I mean, I, I tried, um, I always travel via train. It's my favorite mode of transportation. Tapos, maybe because of the language, etc., etc., I can't figure it out. So, what I did was, umalis ako, nag-exit muna ako, tapos, um, uh, I tried na mag-research online. So, umupo muna ako sa Taksim Square. And then, less than 5 minutes nung pag-upo ko, there's this random guy again. And, itong random guy na to, ang profile niya is, again, para siyang 40s. Tapos, ano siya, ha? Um, decent. Decent looking. Like, naka, ano siya, naka-coat. Tapos, um, wala naman siyang bag. Pero, I mean, hindi siya hindi siya yung like, hindi siya yung like, namamalimos na type. Decent looking talaga siya na guy. And then, lakad siya ng lakad in front of me. As in, pabalik-balik. Ganun. Ganun level. So, parang, ano to and all. Tapos, okay. So, umalis na ako. That was like, morning, ba Kasi, I, I need to beat the 7.30am meet up with that Airbnb host. So, fortunately, may, may local naman there na mas bata. Like, around, uh, my age, ganun, who helped me, tapos knowledgeable din sa English, who helped me to go to dun sa meet-up place namin nung Airbnb host. So, okay. So, at least naka, ano, ano, naka, naka-save ako. <laughs> naka-save ako dun sa um, second sana na guy na I feel na mangungulit sa akin. Ganyan. Kasi, meron na eh, may, may signs of attempting to kulit. Just for the fact na, in front of you, naglalakad siya talaga back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, for sobrang tagal. Tagal talaga. Well, ako, I was trying to research online how to, how to purchase a ticket sa, sa train. Ganyan, and all. Cut to, nung nagpunta ako doon, doon sa meetup station, doon sa meetup place namin, uh, doon sa downtown, central downtown, puti na lang, mabait itong local na na-meet ko. So, hinintay niya na, na dumating yung host ng Airbnb. Tapos, sobrang series of unfortunate events. Uh, hindi rin sumasagot yung host dun sa Airbnb. So, of course, may communication kami sa Airbnb app. Ganyan. Um, prior to, nung gabi pa lang, I'm confirming na, hey, tuloy tayo, gantong oras, etc., etc. And then, nung morning, hindi na siya nagre-reply. And it was like, uy, malapit na mag 7.30 a.m. So, I suppose, diba, na parang, um, you're nearby, or whatever. So, okay. So, naghintay ako until like 8. Wala. 8.30, wala pa din. And then, si yung local person na kasama ko, sabi niya, hindi siya Turkish talaga. But, I, I'm saying na local siya because he's been staying in, in Istanbul for quite some time kasi doon siya nagtatrabaho na. Um, I forgot kung anong nationality niya talaga but definitely hindi siya Turkish. Pero, um, tumirin, nakatira na siya sa, sa Istanbul for like 5 years or more than 5 years. Tapos parang sinasabi niya na, alam mo, ilet go mo na yan. Kasi, ang dami talagang Turkish na ng fraud, ng sa scam. Si, siya na mismo yung nagsasabi kasi parang sabi niya, may experience ako and ako ay magay ha. Gumaganon siya sa akin. Na ako ay magay. How much more ikaw, girl, and all. And, um, if you will judge me based on my looks, na parang girl, tapos maliit, and all. So, parang feeling niya, ang daling, ang daling mas kami. So, parang ako, Wait lang, it's Airbnb, ba? I mean, hindi naman siguro, ganyan and all. So anyways, cut to, um, sabi niya, balik ka na lang muna dun sa, 
ano, dun sa apartment mo. Until such time na mag-reply na lang siya ulit. Kasi alam nga namang naka, naka, naghihintay ka here na parang wala lang, ba diba? And all. So, parang I decided na, sige nga, balik na lang ako. Tapos, I'll figure, I'll refigure my itinerary for the day para at least, um, mas maging productive. ba diba? So, nung bumalik ako, kasi hinatid niya ako sa Taksim Square. So, that's like around... 9.30, 10, 10 in the morning. Remember, nasa taxi ba ako, papunta ako ng downtown, central downtown, ng before 7.30, and there was this guy na nakasuit, tapos, nung umupo ako mag-isa, um, he's walking in front of me, back and forth. Oh my gosh. Nandun pa rin siya. Nung, pag, nung pagdating ko doon, kasi sabi ko, ayoko nang bumalik sa apartment, since sure naman ako na gusto kong to go around. Um, Turkey. Kasi, I mean, to, sorry, to go around Istanbul. Kasi, bakit, bakit man ako babalik ng apartment? Eh, wala naman akong gagawin doon. Diba? So, nung pag-upo ko doon, nagulat ako, oh my god, siya na naman. Tapos, um, nag, ano siya, nag-attempt siya to walk in front of me, like, back and forth. Like, siguro, three, three times yon na back and forth. Until, in-approach siya ako, tapos parang, um, common questions na parang, where are you from? Ganyan. So, parang, oh, sige, benefit of the doubt, baka naman wala lang, ba diba? And all. So, I answered, ganyan. Tapos, he was trying to, sabi niya na sumamaraw ako sa kanya, and all. So, coming from the early morning experience na talagang may nungungulit sa'yo, na hindi ka nire-respect, na nag, nag, ano ka na, nagsabi ka na na, no, 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 talaga, and all, na random, na Diba? Hindi mo kakilala or something. Natakot na ako kasi parang, oh my gosh, kukulitin na naman ako nito. And ito na naman siya. Tsaka, bakit hindi siya umaalis? Parang, if nakasuot ka, hindi ba dapat may trabaho ka? <laughs> or something, diba? Pero, well, um, obviously, wala. Wala siyang trabaho kasi nandun lang siya, nakatambay and all. So, parang, ano to? And all. Tapos, I remembered, um, um, one of my friends, um, yung family niya, pre-pandemic, nagpunta na sa Istanbul, in particular. Istanbul ha, yung capital. Yung experience nila, hindi exactly the same as mine. Sila group ha, group. Ang experience nila was, nasa Grand Bazaar naman sila. And then, very makulit din, ang ginawa was, yung seller there, yung seller dun sa, dun sa Grand Bazaar was, um, Hindi naman sila, hindi naman sila nag-ask ng assistance dun sa seller. So, syempre, kapag tourist ka, you really want to take photos, diba? Um, sa kanila, random-random photos lang. Tapos, ang ginawa nung seller na yun was, nag-volunteer siya. He approached yung group na yun, yung family nung friend ko. Tapos, sabi niya, I'll take your photo. Which, parang sa kanila, uy, sige, thank you, diba? Uy, may parang uh, a good soul, good sa maritime, diba? So, um, binigay niya yung camera dun dun sa seller or dun sa person. And then, okay, true enough, pinikturan. Dalaw, parang, I think, two times and all. Sa afternoon, ang expectation pala was, um, yung family ng friend ko is required to buy something dun sa, dun sa seller na yun. In return of that service, na volunteer naman niya. So, syempre, hindi naman nila alam, de ba? So, of course, they, they respectfully um, they respectfully refused to, to purchase something. Ganyan, galit. Galit na galit yung, yung seller. As in, nagdadabog. And all. Tapos parang pinalayas, pinalayas. Ganun. And all. So, yun. Morning pa lang yun experience ko sa Istanbul. And, um, how ma- I stayed in Istanbul for three days. Um, habang ganun yung experience ko, naging mindful na ako na parang I really want to look for um, medyo safe place within Istanbul that I can roam around on my own um, para ma-enjoy ko pa rin yung place. Kasi sayang naman. Kasi um, ang gagawin ko kasi was I'll go to Istanbul tapos I'll go to um, two more two to three more provinces within Turkey. So, paikot from from center, tapos going far, 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 papunta sa far flank, 
four provinces of Turkey pabalik. Kasi ang ang flight ang flight ko going back to Manila was from Istanbul pa rin, di ba? That's that that's the capital eh. So, sabi ko, sige, I need to maximize in all. So, ang learning ko is, ang tips ko would be, if inevitable na magta-travel ka alone and you are a female, I really suggest, I highly suggest na, ah, sorry, by the way, before that tip, um, dumating naman yung Airbnb host ko. <laughs> na late lang siya because nagkaroon siya ng accident. Tapos, um, natuloy kami dun sa, dun sa um, pagsama niya sa akin, going around Istanbul and taking photos of me. So, yun, that's my number one tip. Um, specifically in Istanbul, if you are traveling alone, and if you are a female, lalo na kung female ka, um, I highly recommend um, for you to check out um, like an Airbnb experience na may kasama ka. At least, since may kasama ka na trusted, and Airbnb is like really a global app, di ba? Um, someone na taga doon alam yung ins and in and outs of the place at saka kapag may kasama ka at saka yung yung kasama mo hindi naman talaga like a foreigner um hindi ka naman lalapitan eh hindi ka lalapitan ng mga um mga random guys na you feel na sobrang yung ko ba gangster or something right so that will be definitely beneficial for you so go to like an Airbnb o ba? may kasama ka na, may picture ka pa, may kakwentuhan ka pa, tapos uh, may kasama ka pa to recommend some some um, restaurants, ba? And if you want to go shop, yan, ma may ma-recommend sila na definitely hindi mo ma-search sa Google kasi sabihin ng Google are the, yung mainstream uh, locations only. Pero for all you know, ang dami pa talagang, mind you, ay based from actual experience. And dami talagang places na hindi naman talaga sinasabi mainstream, pero nanda talaga yung gem. Nanda talaga yung gem nung lugar. And parang ako personally mas gusto ko pa yung puntahan more than other mainstream places. Of course, maganda yung mga mainstream places. That's why mainstream siya, 'di ba? I mean, it would be popular for no reason at all. 'Di ba? So, yun, that's my first tip. Tapos may may second tip is um really plan out your itinerary in Istanbul in such a way na um alam mo kung paano to navigate talagang napag-aralan mo um hindi lang yung way hindi lang yung way papunta from point A to point B but also um like if for, like for me I will go uh, via a train or via a bus. Dapat alam mo kung paano bumili ng card. Or as much as possible. If you can, some kasi, some mode of transportation, pwede mo siyang mabili online eh. So, kahit nasa Pilipinas ka pa lang, or en route ka, uh, nasa airport, ganyan and all. Pwede ka nang makabili. If you can do that, then please do that. Para at least, wala masyadong hassle. So, talagang hindi mo na, hindi mo na kailangan mag-stop. In, in like, in any location. Um, kahit na gano pa yan ka-public or kahit gano ka-safe, ba? Diba? Kasi, randomly, anyone can approach you or, fortunately, hindi naman ako nakawan and all. But, I heard, I heard some experiences na like that. Na, I mean, parang sa Pilipinas, unfortunately, parang pwede kang snatch, like, yung bag mo, bigla na lang. ba? Diba? Ano yun sa'yo and all. So, that's, that's my, that's my second tip. Tapos, third is, specifically for Istanbul, what I can recommend is, um, uh, if you go to central downtown, definitely what you can expect is, I think, ano naman eh, um, when you go to downtown places naman in any countries, um, talagang merong mga maraming tours and all. Uh, so, definitely, mas mahal. Okay lang naman yun. I have nothing against those tours. Like, especially if, that's what you really want and that's what and that's the experience that you that you're looking for ba? Diba? but um ako personally parang as 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 mentioned a while ago i feel na mas maraming gem outside so while istanbul has a downtown area um please reconsider to also um check out other places of istanbul na not necessarily downtown like there's this alley um, sikat na sikat to, even in Taiwan, in other places. Alam niyo yung, ano, cute na alleys na, yung stairs, 
colorful lang siya. Hindi lang siya yung parang LGBTQ colorful na like sa San Francisco, di ba? May, may, may road there na uh, parang LGBTQ colors. Even, ito, parang even yung houses, curated, ganyan, ang ganda ng mga photos and all. So, ayun. So, while hindi ko siya sobrang ma-recommend for solo travelers na female, if if you can travel to Istanbul, yeah, sure, why not? Um, yun lang, just be very cautious, lalo na kung female ka and solo, diba? Um, ito, this is just really based on my actual experience. Hindi siya gawa-gawa. Actual experience of mine, plus yung actual experience also of my friends. So, first-hand story siya. From me to you, other girls, I mean, girl support girls, diba? Um, we got our, we got our back. We got each other's back. Um, pero, please don't get me wrong. The place is still beautiful. Um, just be cautious. Just be mindful. And, maganda siya. So, with all those tips, um, na-enjoy ko pa rin naman yung Istanbul. So, at this point, I also want to share, um, yung, ano, um, certain videos that I have within, specifically, Istanbul na sabi ko, eto, na-enjoy ko talaga siya. So, baka you want to consider also um, to, like, book uh, a boat experience, which is, like, one hour, tapos solo mo lang siya, and um, hindi siya ganun kamahal. Tapos, may kita mo both um, the Europe area and the Asian area of of Istanbul. Tapos, if you want, pwede ka magdala ng food, pwede ring sila. Depende sa trip mo. Kumbaga, di ba? Tapos, depende pa sa oras na gusto mo. Pwede sunrise, pwede sunset, pwede lunchtime, etc. etc. Ang ganda niya, ang ganda niya. And, um, you will go through a Bosphorus River, tsaka yung Black Sea. Black Sea, kasi, kasi as mentioned, di ba? Medyo central hub yung Turkey or Istanbul. So, malapit na rin siya sa, sa Jerusalem, sa isa, sa ano sa Israel and all. Kaya nga kapag may pilgrimage, kapag may mga religious pilgrimage, most of the time, marami talagang nagsa-stop, nagsa-stop over sa Turkey kasi malapit na talaga. Um and Jordan 'yan. So, 'yun, makikita mo siya. So, it's really um it's a nice experience overall. Pero 'yun lang, please be very cautious. Pero if you will ask me, if you will go to Turkey, baka stay lang in Istanbul like Um, 1 to 1.5 days. You don't need that much time. Tapos, concentrate on other parts of Turkey. Um, especially Pamukale, Cappadocia, um, um, Ephesus, yan. And I will share those places in another time. Pero mas na-enjoy ko siya and definitely safer yung areas na yun. Um, lalo na if you are a solo traveler and you are a female like me. So, there. So, yun. I'll share my snippets um, para you'll also get the feel of what Istanbul is. Thanks, guys! Yeah, turn. Turn on, swill. <laughs>